This is the uh, tray system from iDive Side, also called IDAS, iDive Side Arm System. Uh, what you see here is the larger uh, TRL tray. It's called the TRL tray, which is very thick and will take larger camera systems. And here's the smaller and very versatile TR3 tray, which is called the uh, adjustable base tray. It's adjustable since you can actually move the um, the handle uh, attachment part uh, back and forth here and adjust your handle to uh, to your camera and hand uh, position. As you see here, the uh, adjustable hand system also have the possibility of uh, mounting an extra um, adjustable side to it. And both the tray systems has two different handle options. The uh, armball handle that uh, will give you the possibility of using arm systems directly uh, using clamps. And the other uh, and more flexible uh, handle, which has the flat plate, uh, that will uh, cater for the uh, T-mount system. Uh, you probably know the T-mount system from uh, from the CNC uh, arms, um, or you can screw a an armhole on it directly. You can also use that one if you do not have any intention of uh, adding extra uh, mounts on top of your handle. Then this will be the cheaper solutions. Uh, both the trays take different screws. They come with screws to mount the cameras. Um, you can get these iGlide screws uh, for iGlide systems because they have a special tray uh, thread timing. And uh, and you can also use a double screw system here. This one comes with just one screw. So if you have a camera that has two screw holes, uh, you need two screws to stabilize it. Uh, and you then might want to use these Allen uh, alloy um, screws uh, that are very tough. Uh, both the trays have a back plate. Uh, if you just have a camera with one thread, uh, so when you press the button it won't spin around and that's why you have the plate here if you have a camera that has a double thread then you just turn the the tray around um, like this and you mount the adjustable plate on the other side and you will not have the back plate to uh, be in the way uh, that's up to you really um, Let's see some of the some of the possibilities to actually use additional arms to this system. Okay, here you see the TR3 tray that has been mounted with a T plate. If you use the T plate directly on the on the tray, you'll be able to put a flex arm directly on there. That's very cheap and uh, very very um, usable. And here you can see the smaller flex arm. Uh, you see uh, the the light will, will mount directly on here. This is a really simple and, and affordable solution. And the good thing about this is that you can later decide to, to extend the system by adding the, um, the adjustable plate here. In fact, there's a longer, there's an even longer plate if you have a larger system so you don't get stuck up with a, a tray system that is too small. And here, uh, if you later want to uh, extend this system with the, with the T-mount, you just mount the T-mount here on top of the tray, sorry, on top of the handle, uh, and that will give you the possibility of moving this flex arm to the top here instead. So you see, this way it's really been used uh, effectively, or you can use the, um, the armball handle directly on here, and still you have the possibility of adding the extra handle. Uh, and this way you can you can mount any any uh, armhole based arms on top of this just using a clamp and here you see the TRL tray uh, mounted with uh, two handles these are the armhole handles and this is a really rigid and solid uh, solution this one will cater for larger uh, acrylic housing systems or mirrorless systems like the fantasy housings and, and a lot of the Nauticam compact and mirrorless systems. As you see, uh, several options of mounting uh, the camera on the tray. Um, if you use both screws, uh, you would just turn the tray around, as I mentioned before. Um, or you can just use one of these other handles and mount on the side, and you'll be able to use all the flex arms that I showed you just before.